we love as councillors the diversity and the dynamic street culture that we have, and especially around the lock, it's brilliant. But we must, must recognise our residents' human rights and quality of life. Uh, Councillor Bucknell, you said once you've lost your freedom, and then you went on to say something else. But it's what about the freedom? What about the freedom of the residents who had to live with this day and we night? Can take that on day board and in night. I'm, I don't think you we can. can um, sorry, John. Um, Jonathan, you talked about a flimsy evidential base. I can tell you, as a local councillor for Camden Town, I actually had people ring me up at one o'clock in the morning to say, Pat, listen to what I have to put up with, and it wasn't pleasant. I absolutely patrol the area with our other councillors, and it, the beat bopper, I, honestly, it's enough, one hour would be enough to drive anybody insane, but people had it day and night. Alex, who is now gone, said, who's going to want to busk at 11 o'clock at night? Loads of people did. They were doing it till 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. So this is why we've taken this approach. It just doesn't, self-regulation doesn't work in this instance because people come into Camden, people come into Camden, and they, people come into Camden, and they, they promise everything, but they literally, they were going on throughout the night. Yes, they were. They were going on throughout the night. You can ask these residents. So we have to have a policy that actually puts a ring around it to say, this is what you can do and this is what you can't do. So I'd just very quickly like to ask Jim and Tony their perception of the change in the busking activity after June of this year. Well, the reports coming through from the officers on the patrols and the reports coming through from the um, police colleagues on the patrols is that um, problems are now uh, better addressed and more easily addressed. However, there is still a view, which is, again, within the report from the police, that there's a need to adopt this act and to uh, take forward a policy through which the enforcement agencies can then, when they're dealing and discussing with buskers how to uh, take into account the residents' needs and such like, they can have some formal powers available to deal with those issues, which the police um, have been clear they don't feel they currently have. 